build an app that can help you welcome new subscribers through automated emails we are going to use no code api google sheets and zapier integration uh, we are going to create a google sheet with proper headers so first of all we are going to name it feedback forms and uh, in this sheet we are going to create three tabs uh, first tab would be feedback second one would be uh, contact and the third one would be newsletters so uh, our feedback form has three entries name email and message so we are going to give it three headers name email and messages uh, sorry this is news this is newsletters mistakenly wrote it at the wrong place now the contact form has two places email and message email and message and the newsletter has only one input field and it is email so what we are going to you do is whenever i input something here i give it a name an email and a message so our website is going to send an email to this person that you we have received your feedback and we are going to start working on it very soon okay for that we are going to use no code api the first thing and uh, we are going to link our Google account if you have not done it already. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough how you do it. So when you press on choose another account, you will select your email here and you're going to allow no code API to use your Google Sheets. And after that, you're going to press on make Google Sheet API again and give it a name like feedback, perform, feedback forms. And in the sheet ID, we're going to get it from Google Sheets sheet ID. It is a part between D and edit uh, letters. So we are going to copy it and we have we are going to paste it in the sheet ID. Click on create and it is going to give it an endpoint. It so, looks something like this and we are going to uh, use this endpoint add no code API for for building these forms this is a uh, project which we have already made um, and it is uh, placed on code sandbox we are going to give you the link in the description so you can use this project to list these forms on your website and by making only four changes you are going to make these forms functional so f first of all we are going to update the app.js file with the link to our google sheet the google sheets link is this one before the edit word and we are going to paste it here second we are going to uh, update the contact uh, .js file with our no code apis url and we are going to list it here then we are going to give it feedback so and the last part is the newsletter so you should see that there in the tab id uh, parameter there is only one letter difference between newsletter feedback and uh, contact it is basically indicating where we are going to uh, push our data for each form so uh, once it is completed we are going to test if it is working and we are going to write something here and see if it is working okay if it is working fine we are going to see this message here all right so this uh, data, this dummy data, we are going to keep it here because next step we are going to make our Zapier integrational uh, integrations functional. Uh, if you go to the dashboard, uh, you are going to see the Zapier, uh, the Zap which we are going to try uh, on the front page that is send emails uh, via Gmail when Google Sheets row are updated. So we are going to use this Google Sheets first that whenever a new row is added to this Google Sheet, it is going to send an email to the person uh, we want. So we are going to start with uh, building this Zap. Okay, uh, in the first step, we are going to go for uh, choosing the account to which we are going to send, uh, under which we are going to have our uh, Google Sheet available. So we have chosen the account click continue where our google sheet is placed so it is under the spreadsheet part i'm going to pick the feedback forms in the worksheet part i'm going to pick up the feedback part 
and in the trigger column i'm going to say the clear it because it states that if you want anything in the row changing to trigger it uh, you have to clear this part so we have cleared it and click continue okay and test this trigger if it is working so this is the last message which we send via our contact feedback form to our google sheet uh, asdf asdf and we can see that it is showing up here click on continue and after the continue button uh, we are going to uh, trigger the action that is send an email whenever a new sheet is added so in the gmail we are going to send an email we are going to send the email from my own personal account so you can enter it here and in the to place we are going to send it to the person uh, to the email which is listed in google sheet and uh, after that we are going to send it from who it is from me so uh, you can see that you can add uh, other people as well from whom you want to send it and there is from name uh, you do not need it it is not required so the subject part is feedback received and uh, after that we are going to say thank you uh, Kasim for contacting us we are going to work on this feature very soon so you got the body you do not need a signature you can add it if you want I want this email to land in the inbox part and I am going to continue it so once we have uh, completed this part and we can see that our uh, action is working or not we are going to see if we receive the email so it says an email was sent to gmail just now we can verify it and yes it's it's showing up here it's showing up here so we are going to go back and turn this app on so that whenever anybody fills this contact form and a new sheet is added to this spreadsheet it should send an email to gmail so uh, i'm going to trigger it again i'm going to write gossip my email this is my second attempt on feedback form i'm going to say send and once i send it it is going to write it over here and it normally takes some seconds like five or ten seconds to to make this complete process of automation built on zapier function so we are going to wait for four five seconds and after that we are going to see that an email is received in our google's inbox so once we submit this form we saw that we have sent an email to the person who submitted the feedback form also there is an important note that if you want to make the rest of the sheet tabs functional like contact form and newsletter form so you have to build separate zaps following the same procedure and you will be able to integrate this automation to two other forms which are placed there because for each kind of person reaching you you want a, a unique kind of email going towards them and uh, there is only one uh, flow of actions which you can uh, trigger on zapier so that is it from no code api thank you for watching you can read more about it uh, in our detailed blog post this description is listed below uh, please um, keep visiting and uh, keep watching thank you bye bye